asking, are you videoing again when you come over this weekend? <laughs> God. Here you go. Let me ask you a question, okay, Kurt? All right, go ahead. What do you think of this old rust bucket here? Uh, Look at all the rot and the rust that we had. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. But you said it was a pile of shit. Just I didn't it. say it was a pile of shit. Uh, you sure about that? I just said most people would probably call it a wash. Like yeah, but one. most people, the people that are into these cars, would look at that car on your trailer and say that's a pile of shit. What do you think of that idea? It could be. What, yeah. Is that an insult? <laughs> is it saying that? <laughs> no, everybody has their own what they like. You exactly. Know, everybody has their own opinion, Kurt. That's right. Okay. This is a lot of work, dude. Have you ever seen one restored this way uh, on actually, the rotisserie? Yeah, actually, I have, but, huh. but not this much rust, though. This is a rotted, rusted car. Damn. Um, what do you got out on the trailer, bud? What are we looking at tonight? I got a 1997 Cobra Mustang that I bought. Huh. A 97 Cobra Mustang? That's a Fox body job. Yeah, I, no, it's not 97. It's a 1979. That's what I meant. You said 97. I know, my bad. It's a, it's a 1979. Okay, so it's a 79 uh, with Mustang 2 suspension. It's yeah. got, what has it got? What's the rear end in that thing? It's not an 8.8, .8, is it? No, but it's been changed. It is an 8.8 yeah. .8 now. Let's go check it out. Let's see what we got. Now, the, uh, guy, the guy that had it took a drivetrain out of the 87 Fox body uh -huh. and put it in this one. Okay. So, so what has it got in there? It's got a 302 carbureted that's been bored out. The board out 302, 40 over. It's been blueprinted and balanced. Wow. Brand new 40 over pistons. Yeah, I kind of like that white one you had where you locked the motor up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go out there and look at that Mustang, see what we got on it. Okay. Do we got some number matching action going on with it? or? It's a real Cobra. It's it got is? the Cobra tag and all oh. that. So. Yeah. Now, is this one for sale or? Um, I mean, everything's for sale for a price, but um, I'm planning on making it a driver, so. But you said you were going to keep it, though, bud. I think I'm going to keep it, but like I said, everything's for sale for a price. Let's you know? go look it over and see All what right. we got. <laughs> Okay, so our buddy, okay, Kurt, can I talk now? <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay, so our buddy Mustang Kurt came over today uh, bragging about some car. He actually uh, skipped work and told him he was sick, took a sick day. So the car we're going to look at is a 1979 Cobra, GT Cobra Mustang. And this is claimed to be, hold on, is this the one you were telling me about when we were at your house? You've been trying to get this car for so long and all this other... I think it is. You said you were working the guy out. You were lathering him up or something. <laughs> so you must have lathered him pretty strong. This is the one that was sitting in that parking lot that you showed me in a picture. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So this is a Cobra, uh, 5.0 Cobra Mustang. Now he claims this is the real McCoy. Let's check it out. Let's see what Kurt's got today. What's going on, Kurt? What do we got? What do we got here, bud? Well, it was a 302 four-speed, uh -huh. and he changed it. Like I said, he put an 87 drivetrain in it. Right. And uh, put a new shift. Now, originally, what did this car come with? Came with a 302. Being a 79, what did it come with? Came with a 302 uh -huh. with a four-speed. So this is a 302 four-speed car originally. Now, I see it's got the Cobra interior, yeah. uh, and it's actually in pretty good condition. Being a car that it was, I mean, it could use a little action going on here. The carpet's in real good shape. Do we got any rust on the floor anywhere? Not at all, man. You sure about it? So this is a Texas car? It's, no, it's actually, it's a second owner Iowa car, but when... Iowa. When his, huh. 
And when his uncle bought it brand new, he worked at the dealership uh -huh. where it was. So purchased. you're saying there's no rust on this car at all? Is I'm not true? saying that. But okay, I'm just but you said you said nothing. You said nothing. <laughs> Okay, so you're claiming that this is like a real beautiful, nice car, and it's a restorable car that we can all enjoy and love, just like it is. You're not going to paint it. You're not going to do nothing to this car. Is that right? Well, later on, I'm going to uh, What rear end do we got in it, bud? 8.8. .8. Okay, is that like the first gen 8.8 .8 was in 79? And, well, this car came with a... Uh, you sure that's not a 7.5 job we're looking at there? That's what it came with. Huh. They put the... Okay, so they, they turned it over to an 8.8. .8. Got it. Yeah, yeah. So the guy that bought it brand new, he, like, went down and got rust inhibitor and did all the underneath side. He did? Yeah. Can I go ahead and look at that one more time? Yeah, go ahead and look at it. <laughs> So the original guy did the rust inhibitor on it and it's been rust proofed, right? <laughs> That's what he said. Okay, I'm just making sure of that, dude. That's all. I mean, you know, we don't want any scam jammers going on over here. I mean, it okay. ain't got no holes in the floorboard. Right, that I can right. See. Uh huh. I mean, got it. I'm not saying it couldn't have some pinholes or something, who knows? Okay, let me ask you this, bud. What about the paint? How many times has that thing been painted? It uh, looks like the original paint. The original paint, except over there, it got a little side swap. Uh huh. Is this our uh, factory color code job here? Is this the? Yeah, that's it. What is this here? Now go ahead and decipher this for us. What's going on here with these numbers? Being a number guy for Fords. I'm not real up on yeah. 79s. Okay. I know Actually, I said 78, but we'll go with 79. Right. It was manufactured in 78, okay. but it's actually a 79. Okay. So what's going on with the numbers, dude? Okay. Decipher numbers for us. Here's the VIN number. What is this meaning? What are we looking at here? Being a number guy that you are. Like I said, I'm not that up on the okay. 79s. But so we I, really don't know that. But the 03 is either GT or Cobra. I okay. know that for so sure. So you know that for sure. So it's a 79, 79 Ford, and the 03 is either GT or Cobra. Uh-huh. But well, we really don't know what these are here. Th these are the consecutive okay. uh, model. But well, we actually know what this means, right? Yeah. Passenger. It's a passenger car. Got it. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that's what that meant right there. <laughs> Saying passenger type on it. I just wanted to make sure that. So the color code on this is uh, a 61R. Right. And I guess that's this uh, tangerine orange. That's it. Which is a pretty nice orange, I got to say. Um, was this from the factory or was this a dealer item here when you got all these stickers put on it? No, it was a factory. Uh huh. Yeah, it was a factory. Yeah, let's go ahead and show everybody the hood on this thing because the, the, the sticker on the hood actually still looks pretty nice. Um, it might be looking that nice because it's raining out <laughs> and it's got some <coughs> wetness to it, but it looks pretty good. So, what are you going to do with this car, being in the shape that it is, Kurt? I'm just going to get it back on the road again and start using huh. it for a, a daily driver for a while. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, because I'm going to be honest with you. I saw your white one. Yeah. And I'm just going to, let me just look at, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and be honest with you. I think the best thing to do with this thing is really, go ahead and sell it, Kurt. Okay. I don't know. Man. I mean, I know how you are with Mustangs. You get all excited. Uh, <laughs> I mean, let's look at this right here. Uh, can you buy these? Yeah, you can still get the moldings. Huh. But okay. Where it got side swapped, this is. Okay, so this been has been wrecked. Just on this the car's been wrecked. Okay. It, it got a, sli a small hit right here, and it got okay. fixed on this side. All right, so, so it you was can fixed. Tell where it's new. Right, new right. Paint. But they did a good job fixing it. But you can see where it's been blended in, of course. Right. And then, of course, that fender looks like it's been painted as well. Yeah. Why they didn't paint the whole side of the car is beyond my imagination. Probably because the owner didn't want to pay him the extra hundred dollars it would have cost to scuff that door down and paint it. I don't know. I got all the documentation. I okay. got pictures of the motor build and all that. So, what type of engine do we have in the car, Kurt? It's got an 87 302. Have you drove this car? No, I haven't driven it. So it hasn't even started yet? No. So you bought a car... <laughs> That some guy claims it has this, that, and the other, and you didn't even start it or nothing. No, because... Wow. Um, it looks like somebody went ahead and scuffed this down here and painted it with spray can paint. Am I right, or is that factory stuff going on? Kurt? I have... I don't know. We don't know. It could okay. be faded and 
factory. Right, right. What about this surface rust over here? Do we know if that's factory original? <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. Okay. Richard? How much is this car worth, Kurt? Be honest with us. Come on. Man, I, I really don't okay. know. You, said, you, were, you mentioned a price in there to me. I'm going to go ahead and let you say it. How much, Kurt? It's, it's a... I guess it's worth what somebody's willing to give. Yeah, you know what I, I mean? Yeah. Can I go ahead and point out a couple things that my friend Pete sees on it? Please. <laughs> what? Okay. The first thing we see is four lug wheels. Right. Okay. Now, to my recollection, 99.9% .9 of all 8.8 .8 rear ends, Mustang rears, are five lug. So I'm looking at this and I'm saying, huh, are we sure that's an 8.8 .8 Mustang rear end? No, it is. Do, you Do you want me to go ahead and keep talking? Or I'm not depressing you in any way whatsoever on your car. No, it is 8.8. Okay. They did have... Four Can I go ahead and look at that cover just to verify that, please? <laughs> go okay, ahead. I'm going to go ahead and crawl up under here go ahead. Uh, and see. Is that a... It's an 8.8. Okay, you. yeah. It might be an 8.8, .8 and they probably possibly changed the axles out to four lug axles. The little story you were telling us about... You know, the guy Russ prevented it and all that. I'm going to have to kind of, you know, think about that one, Kurt. I'm going to have to think about that because it looks like he didn't get on your belly there and crawl up under <laughs> there and look at it properly. Now, most 8.8 .8 rear ends are also quad shock rear ends. What do we have on this one? Okay, so far it's looking like an 8.8 because .8 there's the quad shock right there. One thing I didn't like about these Mustangs is, can I get that? Hold door on. open. What's going on here, dude? The door's not open to force today. Get that key out. There you go. Okay. The one thing I didn't like about these Mustangs is the hinges on the doors usually wore out very quickly. And you usually have to replace the hinges because you end up slamming these doors to shut them. Let's see what happens here with our... Okay, you see what I'm talking about? Right. <laughs> okay. They're not really made to be the best car in the world. What's going on with our trim up here if you don't mind me asking it's coming off a little bit huh? yeah it looks kind of tacky is that a glue on situation or does that actually have clips on it Kurt? we don't know okay uh, i hate to disappoint you but ford did not build these cars for you to restore they built them to get them out get their money and go down the road so my other white mustang fox yeah, body, the one that you blew the motor up in right it's an 8.8 .8 yeah. and it's a four lug we got some more action down here it looks like something's happening with that molding i will say one thing the body is really really straight on it and i like that a lot dude first now this is a four speed car i guess now it's a five speed okay it they changed it over to five speed a, now are you a, a standard guy or do you like automatics Oh, I like standards. Yeah. yeah. So this thing will get up and go if you want it to. Yeah, I'm pretty as sure. As long as we don't break any of them lugs on that four lug wheel. So what we got here is kind of a diabolical situation because now Kurt says he bought the car. It was a 79. They did all this work to it. And he claims that the car is valued at around ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000. Okay. What he bought it for, I don't know, because he won't tell me what he bought it for. I know that he's been looking at this car for a long time, and then he finally came across it. Let's look at the motor. Let's see what kind of trash, I'm sorry, beauty we got under the hood. And hopefully that might prove to be a $10,000 car. Now, where did you find this? You found this in some parking lot or something. Yeah. Uh, business park. Well, I, I drive for FedEx. So yeah. I see a lot of things in a semi, so it was sitting next to a customer I was picking up at. So I believe that the hood itself might be factory original due to the fact of the sticker age. So we know that's at least factory. We know the hood is original. All right, so here we go. This is a 302? 302, yeah. Yeah, now is 302 a hot item in Ford World? Or is that just a small block Ford engine? It's just a small block yeah. Ford. I mean, it's Ford 40 over. Got headers, I see that. Yeah, it's been... Yeah, it doesn't look like the rats have been living in here. No. It's got an Elderbrock carburetor, I know that. Yeah, it's got a... And it got a fuel... Got yourself a little <coughs> fuel gauge back there. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Kind of gives it that racy look, you know. The motor's been line board, balanced and blueprinted. So he says, anyway. No, I got... All right, we got a vacuum got light off here, buddy. What? We got a vacuum line off. Better right. put that... Well, the reason what why... What about that spark plug wire? Why is that hanging off of there? Well, the reason why is since it's been sitting a little while, he had he had the, the old pump stem... Oh, look. All the spark plugs are off, Kurt. Right. Huh. He's what do we got on the oil here, dude? Is it looking good? He just changed it. 
Of course he did, because he's selling it. Yeah. Look at it. He I did. see that. Yeah. There's no oil in it. That's no, it is. Nice. Look. Oh, okay. Got it's it. It's brand new. Well, you know, when you're selling a car, you should always change the oil, especially when it doesn't run. No, actually, you know it, it does run. This guy like. But I haven't seen it run, Kurt. Get in there and start it up. Right. Oh, we don't have a battery. We can't even don't start. Don't have a battery. Yet. Wow. You know, you could always take the motor or drivetrain out of this one and put it in your white one, because in my opinion, your white one's a lot nicer than this one. I thought about you it. Know? And then take the loss on this one if you have to. Plus, it's aluminum heads. But... Yeah, so it is aluminum heads. Let's see that there, bud. Where does it say aluminum? Yeah, they're aluminum. Okay, I see it. Yeah. Ford Motorsports. Okay, so it is a Ford factory head on there. We're looking. It's camera not, around no, there. Okay. Not, it's not factory, it's aftermarket. Now, is there air conditioning in this car? It didn't come with air huh. conditioning. So what about your white car? Did it have air conditioning? It had well, air conditioning. Well, that just told us the answer right there. I think you ought to keep the white one, bud. But, you know, this is Texas. It gets to 130 degrees outside. Right. Without humidity, 160 with. I mean, yeah, this would be a beautiful car to drive in the middle of the summer to work. Now, is the hatchback worth more money than the trunk job? You know, the one that's got a trunk. No, the trunk's worth more money. Why is that? They're more rare. I don't, I guess because of the highway patrol. Uh -huh. those were the. Hey, that's a good idea. Make it into a state trooper job. Yeah, the state troopers were not hatchbacks. So. Yeah, they were They were the uh, trunks, right? So everybody. Well, they had to have a trunk to carry their shotguns in. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, Cobra, right? Oh, yeah, there you go. Well, yeah, if it's got that, yeah, especially being screwed on there like that. Yeah, that's a Cobra. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah. Can I go ahead and take that tag off if I wanted to and put it on my white Mustang? I'm actually. If I did that, could I do that? You could if you wanted to. And then I could go to Arizona to the sticker place and get me some Cobra stickers. And <laughs> you could. I yeah. probably could, huh? It's possible. Yeah. Being screwed on there with one sheet metal screw, I bet you I could do that, Kurt. Yeah, but the okay. kicker is though. What's see, the kicker, see this number. This number right here matches the VIN. Uh huh. So the VIN. Where's the VIN at? The VIN and the top. Where's the VIN? The is that in the, the windshield? Door. There's one in the windshield and one in the door. Well, there you go. All I gotta do is get those. And, and, you know, kind of like the Dodge guys, you know, they, they buy the fender tag. All I got to do is say, hey, I bought the car for the tags. Okay, Kurt, uh, well, good luck with your car. And we're supposed to see your Mustang over here soon, right? Soon, yeah. Now, what do you got? What kind of car are we looking at? Okay. What, which one are we painting? The 68 GT convertible. It's a S code 390 big okay, block. Okay, so this is another numbers car. We're playing the numbers game here. Right. Talking about all these codes and everything. Does it a big block car? Does it have big block engine on it or? It's a big block yeah. 390. Now is it a nicer car than this one? Be honest, bud. Uh, they're both nice. Yeah. Not being... one, one you know what your problem is, Kurt? I like. I like to. You know your problem is. What's that? You're a tinker tour guy. Right. You know, Tinker Toy Garage. Uh -huh. You know, you got 10 or 18 cars out there, <laughs> and, you know, none of them run, none of them work, but yes. you're working on them. Yes, they do. Okay, it's called Tink uh, Kurt's Tinker Toy Garage, dude. <laughs> Tinker Toy Man. There you go. Hey, the Tinkerist. You need to look at this. Tinkerastic. Okay, buddy. Looking good, Kurt. One more Mustang for Mustang Kurt, the Tinker Knackerist guy. Out there and wherever he's at in Texas, loving his life, loving his wife, loving his kids, and most of all, loving his cars. We'll see what YouTube says this thing's worth, okay? All right. That's what we're going to do. I got to go, Kurt. All right, here you go.